Probably the strangest one I ever had an experience of in my life was picking up the phone in 2007 and I didn't recognize the number. I went, hello? And this voice went, hello, is that Miriam? And I went, yeah, this is Jose Mourinho. <laughs> and I thought, it must be somebody putting on his voice, but then I went, no, I do his voice, so it can't be me at the other end of the line. <coughs> no, nobody's doing his voice. This is me, Jose Mourinho. I went, hello, how are you? I would like to make a proposition to you. I would like you to come over and do a show for me in Chelsea, for the players. Are you serious? Absolutely. We've heard this song you do on the radio and we want you to come over. Drogba, Makaleli, all the players want you to do it. Will you come over? And I went, okay. And he went, very good. See you on Friday. <laughs> so then I had, was in touch with uh, Simon here from the director of communications from Chelsea Football Club. Jose has been on to you. Yeah, the, the, the boss. It's actually serious. He wants you to do it. Are you serious? <laughs> So eventually, long story short, I ended up taking a Ryanair flight over to uh, London. Coming into a room, they had agreed that I would do Jose Mourinho with his coat and his scarf. I would do a fake press conference in front of his players and him, with him in the audience, <laughs> with a, a little table that had said the special one on it. And I came in and I went, I'd give them, the players all pre-prepared questions. So Drogba is like holding a question. So I'm there, first question please, Drogba. And he said, Gaffel, Gaffel, oh, do you think we can win the league this year? Shut up, Drogba, and eat your vegetables. <laughs> and I'm looking down, kind of going, and Jose's going, ha, 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 hilarious. And so the gig lasted about half an hour. It was an okay gig. It didn't go great. Part of the reason it didn't go great was I looked down, there was only half the people laughing. And I'm like, this isn't going good. And then I realized only about half of them understood what I was saying, because none of them were speaking English. They were all from a Africa and France and all these places. So none of them understood what I was talking about. But half nine in the evening anyway, Jose sent them all to bed. Like, you know, have you ever seen Sound of Music? And it was like, it was like Christopher Plummer in The Sound of Bed. All right, children, go to bed. And so all these multimillionaires just start running up to, the, running up to bed. And I went, where are they all gone? And he went, John Teddy's gone for a massage. Michael Lilly's going to play Xbox. Lampard is going to watch Match of the Day. Uh, Drogba, he is going to read the computer magazine about the uh, cars. He knows where they're all gone. And so we sat down together and we had a bottle of wine. I was just completely surreal. We had a bottle of wine and he went, I've been listening to your work all week on the radio. You're fantastic. I've been listening to podcasts. It is incredible. You're so funny. Do your Mick McCarthy. And, and I'm like, you listen to the Mick McCarthy. I love your Mick McCarthy. I love your Mick McCarthy. And I went, you want me to do the Mick McCarthy now? He said, do your Mick McCarthy. So I'm there, like, all right, Jose. <laughs> What the fuck do you want me to do Mick McCarthy for? And I looked over at him and he's there, that is Mick McCarthy, that is Mick McCarthy, that is Mick McCarthy, that is Mick McCarthy. It's completely surreal. And he's wearing, do the Irish manager, the Steve Staunton creature that you do. And I, well, all right, Jose, it's a bit of a banana skin there, but, you know, I'll give it a bash. And he's there, this is Steve Staunton, this is Steve Staunton, he's such an idiot, it is perfect. <laughs> and then um, he's there, who do you think should be manager of the Irish team? And I went, you. And he went, maybe sometime later. <laughs> and uh, I said, who do you think should be manager of the Irish team? And I'll never forget what he said, the Roy Keane. And I went, why? And he just said it, this thing in his very Jose way, because he's invincible. <laughs> and only Jose Mourinho could say three, three, three word sentences like that, you know. Um.